Hi friends. Um, I'm going to do just a very very quick thing at the moment because I'm still buzzing but it is like it is ten past two in the morning so I should probably not be loud. Um, <clears throat> and I don't know what my hair's doing. There's like this one little... Can you see that? What is that? What is that? Everything else is in place. What is this? Um, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm buzzing. Um, I just got back from seeing um, Pete Murphy and David Jay and some other lads whose names I do not know, uh, who are not part of Bauhaus, but um, it was two uh, two members of Bauhaus, so half of Bauhaus, a bow, <laughs> doing their uh, 40th anniversary thing and it was so good. I am absolutely buzzing, I am absolutely buzzing. I've just kind of come home and exploded and all I want to do is listen to in the flat field on loop. Um, I missed the very start of it, um, so I missed uh, I, I missed some of In the Flat Field. Uh, that I should probably explain. Um, they did uh, the entirety of In the Flat Field, their first album, and then a very long set of jukebox for classics, I suppose you'd call it. Um, just loads of amazing Bauhaus tracks. Um, so, so that was kind of special. Um, I'm kicking myself that I missed um, half of. In the flat field because I missed some songs that I never thought I would hear but I did get to hear Nerves live and um uh I can't remember uh, I'll, I'll do a proper dig giggity review -y thing tomorrow but I'm just so excited so you get to see me being very excited um there's honestly one of the better Bauhaus adjacent gigs I've seen since 2006. Um, like I've, I've seen David do solo three times since then, I've seen Peter do solo about five times. Um, yeah, this was incredible. Um, David is just amazing. Um, the man can get ch noises out of the bass that are, are, are inhuman and uh, Peter was in really good voice um, and it's kind of really fun getting to hear him do the really punchy punky Bauhaus tracks again um, because as much as I love his solo um, uh, it, it, it can lack lack that edge that Bauhaus has that is just glorious um, obviously it wasn't quite the same without Daniel Ash and Kevin Haskins um, the two that I say lads, they're probably old, way older than I am. <laughs> but you know, the, the two guys who got, I had on, oh, excuse me, on um, guitar and drums were really good. Um, but it, it, it did feel a bit weird in places where um, the guitarist was very heavily aping Daniel Ash's style, which felt a bit weird. But it was so good, so good. I will go through a full rundown tomorrow. I just wanted to talk now. I'm all sweaty and cold at the same time because the gig was like three hours ago and I, I got home about an hour ago. No, probably less than that. Probably about... It's not important. Why do you... You don't care. You don't care when I got home. Anyway, I've got to shut up before I wake up all my housemates because it's like Sunday night. But oh, I wish this... I wish the, this gig had been earlier in the tour because then I would have gone... Um, on more dates on the tour but I didn't think I had the money because I'm still used to not having money and uh, my benefits are sorted now so I, I do actually have money I can go and do nice things I just keep forgetting or being lazy or being insane but anyway I will shut up I will see you in the morrow in a slightly less ridiculous outfit so um <clears throat> It's still quite late so I'm not going to be terribly loud but I'll be less quiet than yesterday or at least I'll be able to chat for a little bit longer I hope I hope I won't wake anybody up um but yeah so yesterday I was running late because of course I'm running late um my sleep pattern is atrocious but um so I I miss the support band completely um <clears throat> no idea if they were really good um Alan said they were mm, okay, um, so um, I think they did get dragged on for one song, but I can't remember what it was. Um, and so I arrived part way through 
in the flat field. Um, so I missed um, I missed some of the ones that I really wanted to hear. So I missed Spy on the Cab. <laughs> uh, just sort of haunting, haunted kind of song. But it's about something so like um, so mundane. I mean, it's about a um, taco girl in a, in a, in a lorry. <laughs> um, so I missed Dive, which is one of those weird <laughs> mad songs that you don't really get to hear other than on that album which is a shame and I also missed um I, I think I caught the very very end of Small Sort of Stinks uh, again a real shame because that's one of the ones that they don't normally play um I don't think that's been played live apart from on this tour like in my lifetime um um which and again it's a shame it's, it's such a bonkers song like it's really nutty and like it's one of the songs that has just such an odd sense of humour but I did get to see some fighters dance was it some beaters? that and uh, Stigmata Mata admitted that I've seen them do that live several times Pete got really mad at one of the sound engineers who was on their phone but it still sounded great to me and then um, Nerves I got to see Nerves I love Nerves that's like one of my favourite songs of all time. Um, <clears throat> I, I'm a real sucker for anything that sort of starts really, really quiet and builds a very, very slow crescendo. Um, <clears throat> and it, it, it just gets to such a frenetic point that oh, it's so good. It's so good. Um, <clears throat> the the arrangement they did didn't have the, uh, the keyboards, um, which... I thought I wouldn't like but I did <laughs> um, and then after that there was a little bit of a break and then they did uh, started doing I think they did like another 10 or 12 songs like that I'm looking at the set list now there's 22 songs on that set list and I mean not all of their songs are as long as Bella's Dead but still <laughs> Um, so after that we had a few songs from Benny on the Inside, um, Benny from the Inside even, um, which warmed my heart because that's the first Bauhaus LP I owned. Um, so we've got King, uh, King Volcano and Kingdoms Coming, which was ah, 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 I, I think, <clears throat> I think I've either heard Peter or David do um, King Volcano live before, it might have been Peter, but I may be, I may be remembering that wrong, but I seem to remember him playing that on, on one of the last doors I saw. Um, oh no, the battery's flashing, oh no. Um, um, so yeah, that, that was a bit of a surprise. <laughs> and then they did Burning From The Inside as well, which again, I, I saw them do back in 06 on the Near The Atmosphere Tour. Um, then we had Silent Hedges, it's just, oh, I love that song, I love that song, and then of course Bella's Dead, um, and, like, I don't know if it's just in my imagination, but on this tour they seem to have the mix sorted so that David's bass was really quite prominent, um, which it should be, because the, the bass just drives all of Bauhaus's tracks, I mean, without that bass, you know, the bass lines and so many of those songs, like, they either have like a almost dub reggae kind of feel to them or just punchy, punky, good, good, goodness. Um, so yeah, um, and in Bella's Day he was doing all sorts of nutty stuff with the bass and it sounded great and it was really really f just lovely being back in, an, uh, in a room with hundreds of people singing along to the end of Bella's Day um just da, da. um so I'm back to my set list because I can't remember stuff so many songs so after that we had She's in Parties um which again soft spot in my heart first Bauhaus song I ever heard um and it was the full version with with the long sort of dub at the end and Peter had his melodica I fucking love the melodica I don't think I've, I've ever seen any other band use melodica um, at least not live and then um, during the, the sort of outro bit with the, the bass line and if you know that song you know that bass line that bass line is just 
so good. Um, I think Peter had a, a xylophone. I, I think it was a xylophone. I couldn't see from where I was because I was quite far back. I know me at a Bauhaus gig or Bauhaus adjacent gig, not right at the front on the barrier. What's going on? I was late. That's what was going on. Um, but um, yeah, so he had, you know, percussion sticks and it made a tune, but I, I couldn't see whether it was a xylophone or something else. But, you know, it sounded like that, something of that ilk. Um, so that that was fun. I, like, have a good long sort of dubby jam, uh, jamming sesh at the end of, of She's in Parties. Um, so it's always sad when people cut off the end of She's in Parties, because that Ah, oh, that's that bit's good. It's good. Um, what is next? Next was the one track from Go Away White, which if you don't remember was their album in, in 2006, which was middling. Like, I don't hate it, but I don't listen to it very often. There's a couple of tracks on there that I will listen to sometimes on their own, but the whole album felt a little bit rushed and a little bit underdeveloped like it felt as though they were kind of doing a rough draft version of things to the point that there's one song can't remember which one it is where um you can hear peter in the background going, okay time for the solo this is the solo oh it's good <laughs> like, um, normally you'd have worked past that point um i mean it, it it's a funny moment and and it like it, it, the whole album has this slightly raw feel but it, it, it doesn't feel raw in a kind of tight thought through kind of way it feels raw in a kind of this could have done with a couple more takes this could have done with a couple more rewrites kind of feel but um that said the the, the standout tracks on there do still sound pretty fucking good live um so they played adrenaline from that and yeah live that sounds really good especially you know mix so that David's bass is nice and loud and and again it has this kind of groovy dub reggae almost feel to it which is quite nice I like I like um oh yeah then we went straight into Cooking the Eye which again great bass on that track and always good seeing David play it um and like that, that was another thing it was really nice seeing Peter back in Bauhaus mode um because he um he performs really differently um doing Bauhaus as Bauhaus as opposed to this is a Pete Murphy solo set and then I'm going to do a couple of old Bauhaus tracks like his whole demeanor his stage presence is very different um he has like a really um a lot more aggressive and, and then the movements he does are very different so you know kicking the eye always has the kicks but he also he does this sort of flat back lunge forward thing and the strange arm movements um and and of course the Bella's dead kind of thing um uh, and the thing where he stands right in front of the lights so that they're kind of like that <laughs> um, and um he doesn't do that so much when he's doing solo when he does solo it's a lot more kind of chilled out and less theatrical um and I, I like both, I like both a lot, but it's been so long since I've seen him do the Bauhaus shtick that it was really nice to see that and I mean D David J is also very different um, doing solo to Bauhaus, Bauhaus is a lot more sort of, I don't know, he's the stereotypical cool bassist and you know the man doesn't age so you <laughs> he basically is the exact same as in the 80s, I assume not that I was there. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so we had that, and then we had Passion of Lovers, um, which again, as I said last night, um, kind of weird seeing another guitarist kind of doing Daniel Ash's style, and and some some of the like the the sort of shrill sort of art rocky kind of guitar noises. I, I don't know how they're produced exactly, or. Or, or whether they have a special name but you know all those sort of noises the the noises the, the instrument oh God. Like, this is where you come from for good groovies isn't it noises anyway um but yeah it did feel a bit weird 
watching someone else kind of ape that style but um, it was still good and I love that song um, then we had another little break then we had an encore which was um, Three Shadows Part 2 or rather 1 and 2 now I may be going completely batty but I have a feeling I have seen Peter do that live um, on one of his solo things but I mean never thought I would see half of Bauhaus play Three Shadows I mean god that is the deepest of album <laughs> tracks um, so that was fun and then we had Severance which I believe is a Deck and Dance cover yeah um, and I, oh, I love that I love that again another song that sort of escalates as it goes on um, and that that's um, really a chance for Peter to show off his amazing vocal talents um, like right at the end in, in the sort of slow crescendo-y bit he does um, I don't know what it's called but that kind of arabesque kind of warbling vocalisation it's not quite uh, an elation but that, like that kind of thing it probably has a name as I say I'm, I'm not the most versed in the music I just know I know what I like I don't know what voices I'm doing I don't know being odd um but yeah he does he does that and um yeah, that that's something that he, he seems to have picked up in in later years obviously i mean he lives in turkey um but you know you don't get that so much in the early Bauhaus tracks so so you know going all the way from in the flat field and bella's dead to you know the more recent stuff it it was a real chance for him to show off all the things he can do with his vocal calls like a madman. Brilliant. Where was I? Right, yeah, the last um, encore I suppose. Um, so we had two more covers and obviously they, since they'd already played Bella's Dead they were going to end on Ziggy Stardust because of course. Um, but we also got Telegram Sam which is great. I haven't heard that in so long. Um, I remember when I first heard it I didn't like that cover because it was just so odd and frenetic and mad um, but I, I yeah uh, I now love it for that exact reason <laughs> like it sounds to me a bit like I imagine cocaine feels like it feels like when you've had too much caffeine and you're in a manic episode um, sorry, uh, this is probably not particularly relatable if you're not bipolar but um, <coughs> uh, yeah it, it feels like mania plus caffeine feels um, if that makes sense um, so it was nice to hear that again and then of course Ziggy bloody great um, so yeah all in all fantastic um, show really really good set um peter was in fine voice and is still able to you know do all the weird sounds and yelps and strange voices that he used to do back in the day but more so and david is david is david david's great um he was doing all sorts of fun things on on the bass uh especially during bella's dead Apparently on one of the other dates he literally just slid it across the floor. Um, I've, I've seen a clip of him just sort of like putting it over his head and then over the barrier so that people in the audience on the front row were just like hitting the strings. Brilliant, brilliant. That's 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 what we're here for. Um, and I enjoyed it so much I bought yet another Bauhaus t-shirt. I, I now probably have I have at least 10 Bauhaus and Bauhaus related t-shirts now but um this is this is it can you see very very young Peter and and David oh there we go and then it says Peter Murphy 40 years of Bauhaus Ruby celebration featuring David J and then it has the eye is red and it's got all the dates on the back um so it's been a long tour it's been going on since 9th of November I saw them there. I should have gone to that one as well. I'm kicking myself that I didn't. I saw them there. Um, <clears throat> so yes. Um,
I realise I still haven't done the Mary Luna uh, vlog. If people are still interested in that, let me know. I still have all of the footage from, from I say all of the footage, I didn't take that many photos or even um, film that much while I was there, but um, I still have all the cabins and I can still mostly remember what was going on. Um, so yeah, if, if you want me to do a very late one of those, let me know. Um, I've not got any more gigs coming up, but I'm thinking of doing a few more videos. Some, possibly some pop culture-y, video essay-y things, if I can get my lazy ass together and stop dithering. Um, and, um, I, I might, uh, I don't know, so they see how I feel, but, um, I, I might do some sort of reminisce tales of, of clubbing and, um, of, uh, of um, previous tours that I've seen of various people, including the Mr. Murphy. Um, apart from that, um, yeah, I might do a little update in a bit, but this is probably already running really low and I'm burbling and waffling and it's getting late, so I will see you soon for whatever the next video is. And until then, bye bye.